Hello, it's a pretty lovely, lovely morning once again from here and hope that each one of you are absolutely, absolutely fine, happy and of course in fine spirits. So in this particular session, you must have by now actually realized what we are going to talk about. Correct paper submitting corporate financial reporting, that means we are going to actually talk about what we call old course and corporate financial reporting, how to go about what we call this particular paper to tackle December 23 attempt. Uh, especially in the light of the series of papers which we have seen actually, ranging from December 2021 till the what we call recent one, that is June 23 paper, you must have realized that uh, we need what we call something else and something what we call over and above and something more than the normal actually to tackle the paper, correct? And uh, lots of requests of later have been receiving and students were telling their sir, it's been a nightmare experience to be very honest with you. And uh, we are absolutely in a dilemma and confusion actually how we have to prepare the corporate financial reporting paper December 23 simply because what is given in the module, hardly anything is asked from that. So that is creating a bit of problem. So kindly actually come out with a video and actually let's have your views so that we can prepare quite well. So on that particular account, I have decided today to give you actually a precise planning and of course, or lots of inputs that how you have to actually go about to tackle December 23 paper, correct? Of course, this particular session is going to be in English. I have already recorded the session in Hindi. So uh, this session is meant for CFR student having old course and who are going to attempt December 2023 paper, correct? So by now, it is presumed that each one of, our, each one of you are quite well aware with the course. And you must have seen actually if we will break up your course, we can break it break it up into actually four segments. The first segment will be your practical chapter. The second segment will be your theoretical chapter. And of course, the third one will be your accounting standard. And fourth one, at least for the namesake, that is Indian accounting standard, NAS. So first of all, we are going to just have a look over the practical chapter. Correct, in this particular session, the basic crux of the session is that how to actually go about and how to prepare correct precisely and what should be our strategic planning to tackle CFR December 23 paper, correct? It is very important when we are at CMA final level, correct? And especially if we are pursuing a high profile professional course that we have to leave nothing to chance. We have to cover every room, every corner. That is very important. First of all, you need to understand. Now, if you look into the syllabus which is issued by your institute, of course, <clears throat> then your practical chapters comprises of India's 103 business combination and consolidation as per India's 110. And during our lectures also, we say and almost every faculty say that these are absolutely formidable chapters, important chapters, significant chapters. But unfortunately, if we will see the recent trend of the what we call paper ranging from especially December 2021 till what we call uh, June 2023 paper, very, very surprisingly, actually not a single question actually has been tossed up from these two formidable chapters. Very lengthy chapters and we have kept near about 60, 70 questions in business combination itself, in class solutions we did. And similarly, in class solution of what we call 60, 70 question of consolidation. And in spite of that, if student, if a student fraternity is putting so much of time and effort in these two chap chapters, and suddenly they find to their dismay and to their astonishment virtually in the paper that not a single question is getting tossed off from these two ch chapters, quite obviously, actually, one feel absolutely disgusted. But anyway, you simply can't help it. So first thing which you need to know is that don't make up your planning in such a manner that if nothing has been asked in the last four papers, correct, in the last four paper, that doesn't mean actually that nothing is going to be asked in the fifth attempt, which will be held, what we call, uh, in the month of December 2023. So first thing which you need to do is that, first of all, you need to cover every aspect of the, what we call, your course. What is given, what is issued to you, irrespective of the fact that whether questions are being tossed up from there or not. 
So don't commit this folly of not what we call covering India centered in three or India centered in ten, because sometime actually we may develop a sort of what we call phobia that since these two since these two chapters are absolutely long, form very long chapter in time consuming one, and nothing is being asked of from what from these two chapters. So why we need to do it? So don't let such feeling actually engulf you. That is very important. You have to do this India centered in three, India centered in ten. However, it is very important for you to note down here one important aspect, especially in the light of the what we call these four papers, correct, December 21, I am talking about, then June 2022, then December 2022, and of course, recently held paper in the month of June. If we will look into these papers, we find actually that instead of asking the question from India 103, examiner are showing their interest towards AS 14. Questions have been asked from AS-14. So it is very important that even though AS-14 is actually not given a lot of weightage, to be very honest with you, in your what we call syllabus, but still you need to do it comprehensively, deeply. It is very important. AS-14, as, as we know, deals with amalgamation of companies, amalgamation of companies. Almost in every paper, we saw a question from amalgamation of companies and question was very tough to be to handle. Correct. So, AS 14 has become now a prominent chapter. So, besides these two, you will have to do amalgamation and especially the practical aspect. And even in the practical aspects, we will have to consider the books of purchasing company. You have to be very well aware of books, accounting in the books of purchasing company. Even during what we call in my past paper analysis series, I talked about this particular fact that you need to be aware of this particular fact that in purchasing company, we divide the cases into two types, amalgamation into merger and amalgamation into purchase. So basically you are going to get, in fact, you are getting questions, correct, uh, with respect to accounting in the books of purchasing company of thought that you need to be very deaf with the respect, with respect to accounting aspects of what we call merger and uh, purchase. So it is very important for you too that besides these two chapters, now you will have to Put it into your strategy that you must do AS 40, not only the cases, not only the simple case studies, correct, but all the practical part of this particular chapter should be formidable and should be prepared comprehensively and in an in-depth manner. Second important point is that it is being seen that there is another chapter, internal reconstruction. <coughs> Even though <clears throat> internal reconstruction is not given much prominency as far as the syllabus which is being issued by the institute. But in spite of that, questions are being tossed off from internal reconstruction. Almost in every paper there was a question with respect to internal reconstruction. So besides these two chapters, you must actually devote some time to actually cover comprehensively internal reconstruction, although it is not a very tough chapter, you can manage it. So that is what we mean by the planning and the precise, precise, precise planning. Correct. So if you want to be on the safer ground, simply you cannot actually go by the contents which are, which are given in the what we call syllabus. Now, if we will look and analyze in a threadbare manner uh, the, all the papers, we find actually almost every paper has contained a question from AS14 and internal reconstruction. So as far as your preparation for CFR December 2023 is concerned, besides these two chapters, you must also cover, must also cover these two chapters. Very important. And I promise you that I myself is going to upload what we call lectures on AS14 and internal reconstruction on YouTube. But kindly please don't message and disturb me by asking sir when these videos will come. Obviously depending upon the time factor I will release it and according to my time conveniency. But all I can say that not before the what we call not before the end of uh, June, July. Most probably in the month of August or September I am going to upload comprehensively. Correct. This is my promise to you. Now, coming back to what we call your syllabus, under the practical chapters, there is a chapter accounting for share-based payment. Needless to add that you have to put lots of focus over this particular chapter because almost every question paper from what we call since December 2021 till what we call uh, 23 June, in every paper there was a question with respect to share-based payment and the question which was being asked Correct. All those who must have subscribed to our courses must have noticed actually that sort of question was available in our material. However, but some of those who have, haven't done this particular chapter comprehensively. So now you actually 
uh, make it a uh, make it a sort of what we call part of your strategy that this particular chapter should be on your radar as far as prominence factor is concerned. Similarly, valuation of goodwill and valuation of shares. Almost in every paper, there was a question from valuation of goodwill and valuation of the shares. Correct. I have seen actually most of the students are not quite well acclimatized with some what we call terms. So that is very important that you do these two chapters very comprehensively to attend the question which are being asked in the examinations. GST is a small chapter, uh, you, but you must do all the chapter. It is very important. I've already told you, you cannot what we call leave any area uncovered, correct, at this particular level. However, your focus should be more towards the what we call chapters which are finding place in the what we call examination. So that is very important. NBFC is a small chapter, although some questions have been asked from this particular chapter also, but very small question. As far as financial instruments are concerned, those among you who have subscribed to our courses must have noticed actually we have given 10 lecture, but at the same time we have guided the student and we have told them very specifically you need not require to actually do all the 10 lectures, simply do what we call one or two lectures because in the examination you will be asked to only what we call uh, with respect to questions like financial asset, financial liability and equity and nothing else. So it's a small chapter but you need to be very well uh, acclimatized with these terms like financial asset, financial liability and equity. Correct NCQ based questions may be asked in the examination from this particular chapter. So, so even this particular chapter should be in your radar, correct, of importance. So this is how actually you will have to prepare for the practical. Not only these these chapters, besides that you will have to, you will have to prepare very comprehensively AS14 internal reconstruction, correct? Now, one more important point. Another important point is with respect to India 110. We have already kept near about 60, 70 questions, but Today I'm not going to talk about our courses because simply the session is related to preparation strategy for CFR 2023. Here you have to be very careful that you have to do NDS 110 number one. And second important thing is that besides that you will have to do AS21. AS21 is the existing accounting standard which also deals with consolidated financial statement. Similar to AS14, examiners are showing lot of interest in AS21. And lots of questions, almost every paper from December 2021 till what we call 23 June, almost every paper contained a question on consolidated financial statement. But in those questions, consolidated financial statement were asked to be prepared not as per what we call India ascended in 10, rather as per India AS21. So that is the reason you have to actually do AS21 comprehensively and you have to not only do the case study but practical portions in a comprehensive manner, in an in-depth manner. Very complicated questions were tossed up in the examinations and I need not require to tell that many students if they haven't done those, if they haven't done those sort of questions, they must have faced very great difficulty. Correct. So that is the reason even this particular area should be well and duly covered. Is it clear to you or not? If you can cover AS14 internal reconstruction and AS21 besides these chapters, I am very sure then you are not going to have any sort of problem in tackling the paper, howsoever complicated, tough or nightmarish it, it may be. Correct. But you will not have any trouble. Now. As I told you, your entire syllabus can be divided into two sections. One is actually theory, practical part. Of course, next one is theoretical part. I need not require to talk about theoretical part. That it goes without saying that if you really want to do your NCQ section quite well, then you need to do all this chapter comprehensively and surficial study is not going to actually hold you in a very good state. That is very important that you have to devote time and go through each and every line. That is very important and that will put you in a safer place in the sense that any sort of MCQ can be tackled well only when you are thorough with every aspect of the theory. So all this chapter whether corporate social reporting almost in every paper there was a question from it. Although question was not asked from integrated reporting or triple bottom line but from government accounting the question was asked and similarly no question was asked from business responsibility reporting but from XBRL question was asked. So you have to do your theoretical aspects theoretical chapters very well deeply very important now coming over to the accounting standard this should be at the topmost of your priority list that is very important because examiner are showing actually 
interest only in accounting standard and your fourth segment is India's to be very honest with you you can leave the entire India's portion if suppose <clears throat> some of you might have bought our courses they must have noticed that at the time itself we told that our course comprises of nearly what we call 240 to 250 hours but out of that 70 hours have been devoted towards India's but we told at that time itself that instead of devoting your time towards India's you better devote your time towards India's because we had a sort of inkling that the question may not be asked from India's at your level it seems examiner are not at all interested in asking any question from India's if you are preparing for December 2023 you need not require to do any India's you can take what we call my point in it but still you will be able to do India's automatically how without doing India's how you would be able to actually do India's I will let you in any short while but just pay attention first of all accounting standard existing accounting standard you know till date actually 29 accounting standards have been issued but 27 are effectively there and all 27 accounting standards are part of your course correct there are some easy standards for example accounting disclosure of accounting policy it's a very easy standard just in one go you can complete it and moreover I have already uploaded in YouTube a series a playlist is also there you can search it down and in a quick time you can cover what we call accounting standards correct I have given lots of case studies over there and that is suffice for you to if you want to actually prepare it directly then AS2 inventory valuation here I have written that inventory AS2 is equal to AS2. That means if you are going to do AS2 automatically, your AS2 will be covered. That is the reason actually why just a moment ago I told you that your AS2 will be automatically covered. You need not require to do, you need not even require to touch AS at all. Correct. Simply focus what we call over these three segments of your course. Correct. And besides that, as I told you, AS14, AS21, and <laughs> what we call internal reconstruction you have to put it into your fold then only you will be able to actually tackle the questions in the examinations then cash flow statement if AS3 <coughs> cash flow statement or in AS7 absolutely same that means if you are going to do AS3 you will cover in AS7 also AS4 is an easy accounting standard AS5 is also very very easy accounting standard and moreover you have already gone through these accounting standards in your earlier phases of education at this level actually question is showing lot of interest towards construction contracts as9 revenue recognition as10 property plant and equipment that means these three standards you must prepare thoroughly comprehensively lots of questions have been asked almost in every question paper there was a question with respect to as7 9 and 10 at the same time when you are going to do as10 automatically your india 16 will be covered because these are absolutely same AS11 is not so important but one question was asked from it so still you should go through it you should not leave anything to chance I told you you must do each and every standard comprehensively lots of questions have been asked from what we call a AS12 government card and if you are going to do AS12 automatically in AS20 will be covered is it clear to you so that mean many in AS will automatically get covered when you are going to do AS a respective AS correct its corresponding aid AS will automatically be covered no doubt about that AS 13 is not very important AS 14 I have already told you on this particular standard not only theoretical aspect you will have to actually study but lots of practical lots of practicals you will have to do because very complicated sort of questions are being asked in the examinations I don't think anything will be asked from employee benefits to be very honest with you so if you can take my words you can leave this particular standard there is no point in unnecessarily wasting your time over here then you can do AS16 and devote greater time to AS, what we call AS16 because lots of questions almost in every paper we saw a question from AS16 and question was not easy to handle correct and in AS23 automatically will get covered when you are going to do AS16 likewise AS17 segment reporting very important at this level and in almost every paper there was a question from AS 16 17 correct 9 10 12 uh, as I told you earlier and even 10 when you are going to do AS 17 your end AS 8 will automatically get covered a AS 18 related party discloses its corresponding standard is in AS 24 it will get covered AS 19 for leases correct accounting for leases Indirectly, it means you are covering some portion of India's 116. 
You need not require to do India's 116. It's a pretty long accounting standard. India's 115 and India's 116 too are very long what we call India's. You need not at all require to touch India's. I've already told you. It means you're simply wasting your time otherwise. Instead, you better devote that particular time in doing the what we call accounting standards thoroughly. Is it clear to you? I'm not telling that actually this particular standard AS19 is absolutely similar to India's 116. But what examiner are asking from what we call accounting for leases, that portion automatically will get covered. Correct? AS20 earning per share, that means you will cover India's 33 also. Now, I have... I have already written these with red pens. That means here you will have to show some extra efforts. AS21, lots of lots of questions have been asked in recently. And especially in the recent trend, if we are going to analyze, as I told you earlier, very complicated questions were asked from the examination. A question were related to preparation of the consolidated financial statement. Although India's 110 and AS21 are quite similar as far as preparation of consolidated financial statement are concerned. No doubt about that. But still the questions were related to AS21 rather than India's 110. But those were very complicated questions. So it is better you have to actually do this particular AS21. I have already told you in the month of most probably September. Uh, at the end of sorry August or first week of September. I will upload AS14 and AS21. And if time will allow me internal reconstruction on YouTube for everyone, whether you have subscribed to our courses or not, whether you are a student or not, just for the benefit of the student, I'm going to upload it. Correct. So, so that you can actually do it comprehensively. Just subscribe the channel so that you get the notification. Consolidated financial statement, then AS22. It is very important. All the accounting standards, especially after AS5, all accounting standards have been covered in all these four papers. Almost from the rest of these accounting standard questions were asked in the examination. AS23, in <clears throat> AS23, that is similar when you do consolidated financial statement. Logically, it means side on the side of it, you must do actually AS23 to put you to put yourself on the safer side. Some long question, although it's a small accounting standard, but some long questions you need to prepare. Correct. S similarly, AS27, AS21, 23, and 27, you can say are cousin brothers. They are related to each other. So when you when we will do AS21, we will cover along with that AS23 and 27. You need to require to bother about that. Then discontinuing operations. Interim financial reporting. When you are going to do interim financial reporting, its corresponding India's 34 will automatically get covered. AS26, very, very important accounting standard. Lots of questions were asked from this particular what we call uh, accounting standard. Almost right from December 21 till December 2023, every paper contained a question with respect to accounting for intangibles. Correct? And it is its corresponding standard is India's 38. It, it will automatically get covered. Coming over to impairment of assets, questions were asked from this particular standard also. And its corresponding standard is this much. Similarly, AS29, correct? And even this particular, from this particular accounting standard, every paper contained a question. And this, its corresponding is NDS37. If you have seen it very, if you have gone through this particular area deeply, then you must have noticed actually when you will do the accounting standard, your 12 in the AS will get automatically covered. So that is the reason I'm telling you, don't waste your time in India's at all. Don't, don't simply touch it. You will cover 12 in AS and besides that, you will cover many other in AS. This should be your strategy. Then your fourth segment is Indian accounting standard in AS. I've already told you that you need not require to do any in AS, but just to give you a little bit of idea. Actually, I have uploaded a separate video simply search down India's preparation strategy. But problem is that nothing is being asked from India's. There is no point in wasting our time actually in doing India's. What I'm trying to tell you, simply go by it. As far as India's portion is concerned, we can say there are total 37 Indian accounting standards which are applicable to your course. Correct? 37. Out of those 37, there are there are six standards which are practical oriented. For example, India's 103, India's 110, you know India's 103, business combination, consolidation, share-based payment. 
Now, these three standard India's 107, 109 and 32 deal with financial instruments. So, that is the reason out of 37, I have already told you, 6 will automatically get covered when you are going to do the practical chapters. That means we are left off with 31 accounting standard. Now, your next question could be, sir, should we do? Uh, my answer will be no, not at all. You need not require to touch India's portion. There is no point at this particular moment if you are going to prepare for December 23 and wasting 70, 80 hours in going going through what we call India's. Because in every India's, we have given lots of case studies. Because at the time when your course was introduced, we too, like others, were under the impression that uh, lots of questions will be asked from the India's. So now we are telling you don't touch India's at all. Correct, out of 37, 6 will get automatically covered and out of 31, as I told you, 12 accounting, 12 will get covered along with what we call your accounting standard. Is it clear to you or not? That means now we are left off with 19 accounting standard. So what about 19 accounting standard? Even the these 19 accounting standard, to be very, very honest with you, you need not require to touch at all. Correct? However, however, out of these rem out of 31 12 will get automatically covered with accounting standard out of these remaining standard if you have the time if you have the time then do india 103 it is related to fair value uh, measurement correct and second do 40 and 41 just to be on the safer side investment property and agriculture if you can Plan this in this manner, I am very sure that each one of you will have no complaint when you are going to face the examinations. Correct? This is what we told to our student and that's the reason actually we have had a very good response in, in spite of the fact that general view was the general view of the general view of the student fraternity was that paper was tough. But uh, since we have covered all this area quite well, so that is the reason we did we hadn't faced any what we call sort of complaint from the student fraternity but some of you who haven't were uh, who haven't prepared the way it should have been now actually we have put before you this particular strategy you simply go by this one i'm very sure that this particular study is going to hold you in a very good state and just last point correct when you will look into your paper you must have noticed actually your section a in your section a there are 10 questions and each question carrying two marks so 20 marks paper is the 20 mark question and it is a compulsory question as you know and here you can get full flats 20 marks easily provided you have done your theoretical part quite well and your accounting standard part very very well then as far as your section c is concerned again this is a compulsory here there will be one question and question number eight will belong to this particular section this question will be of descriptive nature and under question number eight you will have three parts but generally these three parts are considered quite easy if you have done your accounting standard part very well you can easily manage this particular section and you can easily get 16 out of 16 from this particular section one question will be of eight mark another two questions will be there of four marks each as far as this particular section your section a and section c will be compulsory i need not require to tell you in between you will receive six questions two three four five six six questions actually total question number two three four five six seven are there but their number total is actually six question out of these six question examiner will give you actually choice that you have to actually attempt only four questions so four questions you will have to attempt each question will be of 16 marks so this six, this particular section will be of 60 mark 64 mark total 100 marks now in this particular sections correct it is very important that your as 14 as 21 internal reconstruction you must have must have prepared very well then only you will be able to actually solve any sort of question and you have got and you will have lots of alternative even if per chance you had to leave one question you can leave it if you have covered all the areas well and truly in a perfect manner is it clear to you or not now nothing else to discuss actually the only major point of this is that besides the contents which have been issued by the which has uh, which have been given in the syllabus you need to take care of this particular fact that as as 14 that is amalgamation of companies, internal reconstruction, correct? Then AS21 and even AS23 and 27, you have to cover these areas very well. Then you will have no problem, no surprises to face in the examinations. And rest of the point, I am not going to actually tell. I will upload these sheets. If some of you are interested in having these sheets, you can download it from our YouTube channel or from what we call our app. So 
these are the points actually which we generally give uh, give to the student who buy or subscribe to our courses these are general points that should we do institute module or not i have already talked about that and how to revise the courses what about the doubt doubts amendment and this is an introduction regarding myself and there are some what we call reviews of the student and there are almost what we call hundred more than hundred reviews correct hundred reviews i have actually uploaded over here and some recent uh, some recent reviews like uh, amit uh, kumar wama neha singh who have purchased our course recently actually and n sudipiti so i don't want to read this but just to actually give you an idea that n sudipiti says that very good lecture one must buy for a tough class preparation neha singh says that sanjay sir is amazing his wisdom and excellent teaching skills made corporate financial reporting so much easy easy and easy amit kumar verma said what what can i say i am speechless sir is so much hard working and effective i had never seen this quality of teaching a lot just to read this particular review is to give you an idea actually that how we had had prepared uh, our student because not only we prepared them with the respective indias but where we felt that even the corresponding standards were also required so that is the reason while doing indias 103 we covered these aspects and that is the reason those who had subscribed to our courses hadn't faced any sort of what we call trouble in tackling the examinations but anyway in case if some of you are interested in buying our courses everything is written in the description box kindly go through it and buy it correct that is very important right now actually we are offering a 20% discount also uh, from the what we call market price of our courses so it is important if anyone among you are interested go buy it otherwise i am not by telling so i am not luring you i'm luring means to attract somebody correct i'm not putting a bait before you if you have done wherever you have done fine just stress upon this particular area to give a flip to your preparation i'm sure still you will be able to come out with flying colors i hope this particular session must have given you a little bit of idea and guidance actually now how you should have to, uh, now how you should actually go about your this particular preparation correct so looking forward to have your feedback and then quite obviously sometime else that we are definitely going to hold down a meeting with something new till then it's good bye